Hello, and welcome to a Saturday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's, uh, it's just before 10 here, but uh, recently I had a comment on one of my shorts that I cheat, that I look at the mini beforehand and do it, so I figure, you know what, let's do it old school. Let's start it right before the puzzles load, and then uh, you can see I'm not cheating. Anyway, today we're going to do the uh, Saturday, April 1st, 2023 crosswords, April Fool's Day, and uh, go for that 1128-day streak. Yesterday's daily grid was, was pretty hard. Um, anyway. Let's uh, let's do the Saturday Mini. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. On Saturdays, it's extra large. It's 7x7. Seven seven. Uh, let's do it. Uh, this is United, IDs, uh, Mum, Mantis, Malawi, Weirder, this is Andrew, Attuned, uh, Fleece, Lincoln and Monday. All right, little 19 second Saturday there. Nice, nice symmetric shape. Got Mum and Anna both um, anagrams there. Lincoln attuned and weirder, forming the stack there. Yeah, Malawi. I don't know all my landlocked countries or my double landlocked countries. However, I'm from New Jersey, so I've flown a lot of, a lot of United. Very nice. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Saturday Daily Grid, which is by Wina Lu and Joel Fogliano today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Both Wina Lu and Joel Fogliano are New York Times crossword editors. So, um, I know I've seen Joel Fogliano with some April Fool's Day puzzles in the past, but I don't know if they do it on themeless days. Uh, I suspect, I'm guessing this is just a regular old themeless, but uh, let's see what Wyna and Joel have in store for us. Let's get into it. Pains in the you-know-what. Uh, notoriety? Maybe infamy and imps at the top? No. That's not it. Where that means the same thing even with several letters added. Pikachu's cry in Pokemon. Isn't it just Pikachu? Check. Maybe it's stem? Awkward things at family movie night. One side of the in the British Parliament. Disgust. Many multiple time zones. Rock type. Big with two hyphens is S and S S N. Or with box or car. Cable. I want this to end in scenes. Wilcox's daughter and Howard's end. Don't know. Comparatively unpleasant. Nastier. Number one fans question mark and Japanese export beginning in 1982. One member of TV's Mythbusters is Adam Savage. Nice. Scientific name for the American bison. I think it's oh it's bison bison. Okay, it's a little bit of an April Fool's theme I think. Let it. Egoists. Centra. Oh, that's Israel. This is Meta. A grinder. One doubled really like like like. Okay. Cochon de something. Le? Probably. Oh, this is bomb. This is ABC. Fabric for a sweater. She said? Grounds for an apology, and Buddha's often depicted with one. Punch something, question mark. See down Lake Erie from Buffalo, New York. Is this just Erie, Pennsylvania? Cry heard on April Fool's Day. Experience of feeling unfamiliar with something that you actually quite familiar to you. Widespread. Okay, let's go up here. Cell info. Go into. It's DNA. I don't know actually. Send off. Oh, this is mailbox. Mohair. Ill fame. Flame out. This is vast. Emo, labor, and odium. Okay. Fourth president after Adams is Adams. Some auto accessories. Break down while reading. Just parse. I think this is Sao Tome. I see. Champs can precede this. Champs Elysee. Number of stripes. Trace. Language common to a profession. Going well. Stop kidding yourself. Be real. Molar. April Fool. Okay, I see. Top end. 
Realtors, maybe? Halo? Snafu? Okay. Downside of checking a bag. A fee? This is rife. Up. Risen. Delve. Jamebu. Never seen. Noted employer in Claremont, Kentucky. And they go from 540 to 1700 informally. Fed Fiscal Group. What Terpiscary was a goddess of in myth? One of the muses, right? Maybe it's dance. Voyage, bon voyage, annual book prize. Art pieces that date back to the Han Dynasty. Subject of this is Obama. I've seen that. Symbol of forgetfulness. Men in black. That's just men in black, isn't it? The fact that humans only use 10% of our brains. It charges for cleaning. Name names, I see. This is Goy. Aloe, regular. Fade here? What is this? Ball game is Bocce. Brew whose red and white logo was inspired by billiard balls. Some kind of beer. The Booker Prize. Woodcuts. The can't, I see. This is Wayne. Puppeteer Baird, don't know. This is Libya? Mm. Is it Libya? Right. It charges for cleaning. Roomba, I see. Bad. It's Lebanon. Bad science. Okay, of course, Libya is in, in uh, Africa. Uh, Amstel beer. AM bands. Office of budget, budget, office of budget management or whatever. Okay. All right. So we've got not a regular old themeless, which is what I guessed, but a uh, definitely a themeless, just with a couple of. April Fool type answers where it's sort of breaking the rules of a puzzle where the answer is in the clue. So kind of funny. Honestly, starting off like this, I think is quite funny. Pikachu's crying Pokemon is just Pikachu. That, that's kind of, this is funny. Uh, so the theme here are these ones, I think. So Men in Black, Bison Bison, the name for the bison, Pikachu, and I don't, it's not this, right? There was at least one more one. So they're not symmetric. I thought there was one around here somewhere. So let, let's look through this thing. Um, I think this is like not an unpleasant way to do an April Fool's puzzle on a Saturday because people still want their theme list. But basically it's just giving away a couple of answers in kind of a cheeky way. But you could clue easily also. Um, and these are actually kind of funny. Bison Bison is kind of funny. Yeah, you know, like punch drunk on rum or whatever. I think that's what that's saying. They have lots to deal with, that's nice. There, there's some nice cluing here. This is the opposite of deja vu. Deja meaning again, so seen again versus jamais means never. Uh, I think that's like quite a fun phrase, but if you don't know French, it makes it a bit harder. But maybe jamais is like a French word that people who read the New York Times should know. I said the Office of Budget Management. Actually, I failed to say it, but it's Office of Management and Budget. Hence OMB, not OBM. I really don't like these alphabet soup type entries, um, but you know, just a little bit is probably fine. Yeah, this is the famous National Portrait Gallery portrait of Obama. Um, which I've seen a couple times. I really think Clinton's portrait in the National Portrait Gallery is, the, is like super weird, but they all, they all choose their artist, I think, right? 
bad science. Well, honestly, that's not even science. This is just something that's false. This actually isn't an example of bad science. Uh, maybe. Maybe it's motivated by bad science. I don't know. I feel like there's a better clue on bad science. Uh, here, there's name names. The surf also breaks the rule. Is that the only one? I like this. If you add some letters to a mailbox, it's still a mailbox. Um, this reminded me of Pokemon also. Rock type. Oh yeah, this one also. Eerie PA is down from Lake Erie. If you remember everything I've ever said on this channel, oh, also Adams. You'll, you'll know that I lived in Erie PA for a little bit. Yeah, so there's they're actually kind of somewhat randomly scattered. Oh, here, this one. Capital of Sao Tome and Principe. By the time you get here, you kind of should realize what's happening. Makes it a lot easier. Chance Elysee. This is sort of in that mold because the word the string book is in Booker. But no Bill Baird. Yeah. Uh it's a little wink wink nudge nudge. I think this is not I think this is a tasteful way to do an April Fool puzzle. So I think April Fool is not really a real holiday, but if you're gonna do one. Do it tastefully, and uh, yeah, this is way easier than yesterday's in my opinion, especially since it's given some things away, but you have to run this one today, because today is, Saturday is April 1st, so maybe, um, yeah, maybe you can just consider there's one hard puzzle, one easy puzzle this week, who cares what order they're in. That would be pretty quick for a Saturday, several answers given away though, so uh, yeah, pretty fun, pretty fun. Let's now do the plus word. Here's your spoiler alert for the password. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. Password is free to play. It's British crossword meets Wordle. Noise in good condition. That's sound. Fastener, prison officer. This is a Ouija board. Encouraged, urged. This is a niece. Fools. This is a curious. So, dolts. This is. Regal, eject, and wades. So screw. I didn't realize that a screw is a prison, prison officer. Now oh, this is just juicy. Just sub 30 there, which apparently is what I go for these days. Yeah. Do they not celebrate April Fools in Britain? I guess these aren't really labeled with the date. Just with a number, but. Yeah, the only thing I didn't know here was that prison officers are called screws. And I don't know if that's a Britishism, or just... Just, I don't know it. Um, British, it can also mean draw in billiards. Informal, a prisoner's derogatory term for a prison guard or warden. She was frightened by the look of the screws. No idea. I had no idea, but uh, yeah. I was tempted to put juice, but there are lots of E's here, so we've only got juicy. Anyway, let's uh, before we go, just check the mini leaderboard for tomorrow, where we've got stickers. Shout out to you, stickers. Hopefully, you're gonna see stickers in just a couple days here. I haven't seen stickers in a while. And on the old secret leaderboard, we've got Hoopla, Cape God, and Namgo. Good to see the three of you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. I think my parents are in town, so maybe not. But I'll see you tomorrow for some Sunday puzzles. See you then.